Uh, so this is the th this title is actually the title of the of the project. It's a it's an uh, you it's funded by the by well some part of HHS. Forgive me for not remembering off the top of my head. Uh, the this uh, we're, this is a project we're working on here in Kenya in uh, in Ampath. Ampath, for those of you who don't know, is a consor is a consortium that consists of both clinics and uh, ac and academic support. Uh, Brown Brown University in particular provides what we call the biostatistics core for Ampath, which means that for years we've been looking at the data from Ampath, running various studies to understand what's happening in the in the clinics there, and to try and see, you know, if there are areas that we can improve, and just try and understand. Ampath covers a large number of sites. I think it's over a hundred in Western Kenya, which is up there on on the screen. Um, and the point the point of this project was really to try and take some of those insights that we had been generating through statistical analysis and apply them in a more immediate fashion at a at a clinical at a clinical level so to try and take some statistical work and make it available to clini clinicians to help them make more and better informed decisions there were uh, two specific problems that we that are we're focused on one of which is the one I'm mostly talking about today because this is the one that we have running in production right now which is trying to predict clients before they become lost to lost to follow up or lost to treatment lost to care um, and the other one the other one of which is trying to predict uh, people who will have virological failure because the virological failure predictions have a little bit more clinical significance we're trying we're trying very hard to make sure we get that right before we start to deploy it in production lost lost to follow up while it's a big a big problem for various reasons I'll I'll explain later it we feel like it's a little bit safer to deploy to deploy this because we're not um, we're not influencing things nearly as much it's very important to note that the intervention that we're uh, the intervention that we're staging is part uh, is only part of a uh, a broader suite of tools that the that Ampath already uses to try and ensure that patients come into care when they're scheduled to, to care, which which includes calling patients who have missed their missed their scheduled appointment and escalating that attempt to contact patients up up to home visits where that's feasible, um, and so what what we're doing here is trying to be a little bit more proactive about that and trying to identify people who might might need that intervention so that they can so that they can get a call before they've actually missed any services um, this is the general process we take a whole but we take a whole bunch of different variables it started off with over a hundred um, as we've as we've worked we've iterated to get this we've iterated to get this down I think we're now using about 12 different predictors um, mostly with the idea that maybe this is a little bit more generalizable uh, we feed it through some machine learning algorithms, and it basically outputs a, ri a risk score, which is a percentage risk that the uh, algorithm thinks that the patient might be likely to miss the appointment based on previous history. The, the algorithms are trained on four years of previous data at Ampath, so it's fairly, it's fairly, um, it's fairly good about predicting, you know, where we're where we're running this. Uh, what we display to users is something like this. It's a table with the patient, the predicted risk score, and a bit of more information about the patient, about that specific visit that allows the user to see, to, uh, see at a glance. This is all demo data. Nothing in here is actual, an actual patient. I, t in order to try and see what's going on, we, gener we generate uh, this sort of diagram, which helps us see um, both who was who was coming into the clinic, whether they were contacted, whether they kept their appointment, and all of these sorts of detailed uh, breakdowns, so we can have a good idea of whether or not this intervention is actually working. And just to give you some up to the minute ish statistics, uh, overall we were seeing uh, sixty. We were seeing sixty seven percent of clients return on the day of their scheduled appointments. There are various reasons why people don't always return exactly on the day. Um, of those that we predicted that they would not return, the, the rate you can see was 53%, so it was substantially lower, which indicates that the model is, in fact, 
successfully identifying people. And with the intervention, we see that rate go up about 4%. Thank you.